No, no, no. I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm the only one who is not critical of CERN on the planet. <laughs> as long as CERN is following the rules of science. But CERN is about to destroy the credibility of science for the future, even if the planet survives, yes. as, as everyone hopes, of course. I agree. I mean, I think, I think what, what is seen a bit wrong here, and when you say the critics' movement is against the CERN, is that most of the critics, I would say maybe all of the critics I've ever met or talked to or have seen or l mm -hmm. listened to or read, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, they are... Uh, in a way, fans of the CERN. They, they are, they are, they are the people ma majority, interested in science. Yes, exactly, yes. They are people interested in, in, in understanding new things, mm -hmm. in getting forward to humankind. Yeah. So yeah, and, yeah, and, yes, and, and CERN could tell the young people uh, how beautiful it is to discuss these questions yes. so that they could learn that science base is based on dialogue and on mutual trust. Yes. That brings me to the next question, and, and it's really that I have uh, talked to a few people uh, in person or over the internet that actually uh, have to do with the CERN, work at the CERN, or work at the RIC in the US, and um, most, mo mostly I hear this position, are you a particle scientist? No. So, what do you want? Why, why discuss it with me? Uh, we, we take care. It's a bit like a doctor, uh, and you go and you say, yeah, but are you sure mm -hmm. I need this medicament? I give yeah. you a list, and I know best. Mm -hmm. Now, this attitude is something that I personally find uh, makes me afraid. Yeah. Uh, it presupposes that there, is, uh, uh, that there are s different levels of specialists, and some of them are... C are able to talk to critics, others are not, and they can excuse themselves, but then there should be others who are able to, yes. to communicate. Yes, yes, absolutely. Um, and, I mean, in a way, if, if at a certain they would only like to find the, uh, the, the, the beginning of the universe and things like that, where we come from, these are also beautiful and big questions. So, um, if, if that is the case, if that's the only reason for, for doing the <laughs> LHC, uh, so why not let people participate? This, yeah, this is a beautiful yeah, event. Right, I mean, yeah, yeah, why say, yeah, no, yeah, you don't ask questions, exactly, you don't yes, get interested? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah? It's a patronizing attitude. Yes. Right, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. and, and science, of course, uh, this is not the essence, that's not, that's not uh, reconcilable with science. Mm -hmm. Because science is, when you don't know how what the truth is, you have to be very, very patient and very humble. Mm -hmm. And a science that is not humble proves mm -hmm. that something is wrong with it. It's, it's like uh, it's being infected by a psychological disease, you mm -hmm. see. Mm -hmm. It's a psychiatric symptom. I mean, the, 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 yeah. the, 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 my hero of scientists, apart you, of course, is Einstein. Of course. And if if yeah. you look at his face, everybody yeah. likes him. Yeah. They like him so much that Scientology likes him, and posted that I don't like so much. But, I mean, he looks like a humble person. Yeah, he was honest. Yeah. yeah and honest. Yeah. 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 And he has this humanity. And, yeah, he and he knew that every young person has the same capabilities as he had. Yes. yes. So uh, it would be nice to see certain management and certain employees and these particle physicists mm -hmm. have the same kind of Einstein look and feel. Yeah. You know, the kind of a bit, um, you know, forgetful scientist uh, with a bit of weird hair, which is a bit like you, I must. Uh, Okay. I'm old which enough. You like, yeah. Which mm -hmm. you like, yeah. which you kind of trust yeah. that uh, yeah. Yeah. he's like a child, he's looking at yeah. things, yeah. 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 but he is not a dangerous child. Right, yes. Even though what he found proved dangerous in the long run, and yes. he was very much. His whole life fell down when, yes. when the bomb had been dropped. Yes. yes. Yes, that that is true. That 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 is, uh, I think, a big problem. Always that what I mean, this might also be a problem at the CERN. I I heard, or I read about even a patent being made for uh, using black holes as a military weapon. I, if that can be done one day, but already that uh, proves that some people in the military maybe have the idea to use this, if possible, 
or at least look at it. Right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, science uh, should be under the control of medicine in the long run. <laughs> That's one of the uh, the Hippocratic oath. Uh, that there, there are some scientists called medical people, and they have the Hippocratic oath. And there must be a Hippocratic oath for the whole field of science, of course, <laughs> eventually. Yes. Because human humanity, the, the Earth is so small that uh, it is necessary to have a common uh, ethics eventually. I think so too. I think so too. And and maybe this is an occasion that everyone realizes that it is possible to be as kind as science can be. Yes. And this and CERN has given this present of the internet, as we already said. Yeah. So, so science uh, is something like the good uncle of everyone on the planet. Yeah, yes, yes. That, that, that is the way I would like to see it, and that's the way I, so I find science yeah. exciting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and CERN is the good uncle of the planet. Yeah. And they, they would destroy this role. They, they, they would lose all credit with the majority of young people on the planet. Why yes. risk that? Yes. I mean... Uh, I think already in those two years, uh, you know, this kind of, I find it personally a bit arrogant behavior of the sun, just do not look, not listen, not meet, not talk to critics, with a few exceptions. Mm -hmm. um, um, I think you have been invited at the sun. No, no, I was allowed to, allowed? to get an audience. To yes. get an audience, yeah. right? Uh, not so long ago. When was that? Uh, yeah. Uh, last January, two months ago. Mm -hmm. uh, m maybe ca can you give us some impression of how mm -hmm. this is? I have not been inside the sun. And uh, how are people there? How is the feeling there? How is the mood? Uh? No, it's it's wonderful. I I spend mm -hmm. a few hours in the cafeteria, mm -hmm. uh, waiting for a young person who had invited me to discuss with him. Mm -hmm. He didn't come. He later excused himself. Mm -hmm. But the atmosphere is wonderful. Mm -hmm. It's like University Mensa of Tübingen, a hundred times bigger. <laughs> 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 and the spirit is ca is great, and everything is nice. Did, did you see in, in, in maybe a one or two pairs of eyes a sprinkle like, I recognize you? No. No? no? No. So you went, you didn't feel you were known there? Oh, by no means. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. I com was completely anonymous. It, it felt very nice. Very, mm -hmm. very good. And, and people who are eating are always in a good mood, <laughs> <laughs> anyhow. <Yeah. laughs> and they yeah. just had nice discussions. And mm -hmm. so, so the spirit was a Max Planck spirit, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wh when I first got interested as a journalist and with Nopa publishing in the CERN, um, I remember that you, you mentioned uh, that it would be better to construct the CERN on the moon.